Hey right. everyone, it's Amir, and today I'm going to be explaining yet another undiscussed issue that is subtly yet severely hurting the quality of Elden Ring's combat, and especially the integrity of its PvP. That is, the glitch that I think can best be dubbed Unintended Aim Punch. Aim Punch, for those uninitiated, including me from a week ago, is a mechanic in shooter games that throws off your aim while you are taking damage. However, for melee focused games, Aim Punch would be a much more difficult and unintuitive thing to implement. So instead, they usually elect for systems of hit stun or knockback. Elden Ring and its spiritual predecessors also elected for this system. But Elden Ring in particular seemed to actually implement an extremely janky form of Aim Punch as well. When receiving damage without being stunned or interrupted, your arms and weapon can fly off the intended course of their animation, causing the hitboxes, which are directly tied to your character model, to alter direction in a bizarre way and often miss entirely. Now, aside from the absurd visuals, how can I conclude that this mechanic is not intentional? Design Patterns If you've been following from soft design in these games for a while, alarm bells should be ringing on the suggestion that they'd intentionally make this a feature. Let me explain. Like I said before, Elden Ring is designed and built off a few of From Software's previous games all the way back to the days of Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Dark Souls in particular had a passive poise system similar to Elden Ring's, in which having a higher poise stat equaled being able to resist hit stun from attacks ranging from arrows to demon slaps. You would still take full damage when you poise an attack, but the investment was worth it if you made use of it for its design purpose. That is, using the absence of interruption as leverage to get your own attacks in, without having to worry about them hitting you first. The game is also designed to encourage the usage of heavy weapons with the mechanic for several reasons. One of them being that lighter weapons already allow the user to hit and recover fast enough to use other methods like dodging or guarding to avoid damage in most scenarios, or simply moving out of range post-attack, while heavier weapons need that poise to avoid being interrupted during their slow starts. Another reason is fighting enemies with poise isn't as useful if you can't interrupt them either, so heavier weapons with more poise damage allows you to keep the enemy under control. That is the core design and bones of the soul's poise system, even with the numerous asterisks to that in the form of bugs, exploits, shortcomings, and oversights throughout the games. They wouldn't deliberately design some other mechanic to further punish players for tanking attacks, past the inherent fact that they will still take full damage. But that's just what this mechanic does. If you take damage without being stunned, this glitch so violently alters your animation that it makes your attacks miss. And guess what weapons and attacks will hurt the most? Right, high commitment, poise reliant attacks. This is purely on the fact that the user of these attacks are more likely to receive damage in the time that it takes for their attacks to start. And the fact that the damage received is unlikely to actually stun them due to the poise granted by the weapon and the armor poise the user stacked. Elden Ring, like DS1, has passive poise, and thus you can technically use poise with lighter weapons. And the most effective way to do that is to use dual wield light weapons with fast attack startup and recovery, and also good DPS. This is a problem on its own that needs its own solutions. However, the issue we're talking about today actually exacerbates it, as four fast swings from two attacks of some paired light weapons are much less likely to miss than a single slow heavy swing. In fact, it's even more favorable when it comes to fast thrusting attacks, 
which are also an element in the game that at the moment are exceptionally strong due to their ability to raise damage by nearly 50% when the weapon trades. Thrusting attacks can still miss due to the aim punch, but are still much less likely to due to the fact that they are usually clipping anything in front of them for every frame the hitbox is active, while vertical and horizontal attacks only have about one or two frames where they'll actually be clipping a point-blank target. So, the jitter needs to occur within a small window of frames where the weapon will be displaced for long enough to completely miss the target. Honestly, this glitch is more likely to grant your thrusting attack a hit it wasn't supposed to get instead of taking one away. Like in this previous clip I showed, where the halberd running attack clearly missed, but the jitter just so happened to jumble it onto the target. So, hopefully that solidifies it for you that flinching in its current state is nowhere near intentional for several reasons, and that it's a currently subtle yet unfortunate prominent contributor to the extremely focused and unbalanced meta of the game, centered around fast, low recovery, high damage, thrusting attacks. Now, to finish off, how can From Software fix this? Well, Amir, isn't it obvious? You just regress it back to Dark Souls 3, the perfect From Software game. Like you said, the jitter in that game was much less exaggerated, and it could basically never... Uh... What is that? No. No, 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 no! What is he doing? What is he doing with that whip? Okay, settle down Lost. Let's just explain what happened there. It was still technically possible for some attacks, especially with relatively narrow hitboxes, to miss on very, very rare circumstances. Although the timing for it had to be far more perfect, or the player had to be constantly receiving damage. And even then, the odds are quite low in real scenarios with those conditions. While I take this form of flinching in a heartbeat over Elden Rings, it 100% could use a better solution. In the case of whips, it's kind of a unique problem, as whips actually have their own animation files for their attacks to make added whip bones able to animate, as those bones are not on the player model by default. So when you receive damage, due to the fact that there's no whip bones defined in the layer damage animation, it just sets the pose to default as long as the animations are blending with each other. And only when it ends does the whip animation get restored. So that's kind of its own problem, but luckily, it looks like it's already been handled in Elden Ring. But if you want the best fix, FromSoft should go back and take a tip from one of their previous works, Dark Souls 2, which has a strikingly simple solution to the problem of altering hitboxes. Just don't blend the animation during attacks. If you poise to hit, you poise the hit. Your character isn't going to swing half-assed, recoiling but at the same time swinging at the clouds. Your character is going to take that hit up front and land your swing anyway. You will still flinch if you are in a passive action, such as walking, where it can help to indicate to the player that they've taken damage. It's so simple. Just have a condition that's like, are we attacking? Yes? Okay, don't jitter the character. No? Okay, you can jitter the character. Like look, I was able to do it in Dark Souls 3 with minimal modding and I could probably do it in Elden Ring 2 if our tools for character action scripting were up to date. You could even do better than this, preventing blending from occurring only in the bones that would ultimately alter the position of the hitbox, such as the chest up until the right hand on right hand attacks. But yeah, that's the issue of aim punch and how it can be fixed. Now onto the countless other issues plaguing the online of Elden Ring, as well as other things it's lacking. And of course, if you don't want to miss those videos, be sure to subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon, like the lovely people you'll be seeing on screen now. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.